All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to be looking at the nucleophilic addition elimination mechanism. All right, good old curly arrow mechanisms. And this is under the AQA specification for A-level chemistry. And this right here on the screen is straight out of the spec. So what do you need to know? You should be able to outline the mechanism of nucleophilic addition elimination reactions of acyl chlorides with water, alcohols, ammonia, and primary amines. So you don't need to know about acid and hydrides here, what the mechanisms are. You only need to know the reactions, so the reagents, conditions, observations, etc. And I've covered that in a separate video that I'll link down below. By the end of this video, you should be super confident with these mechanisms. And if you see one come up in your exams, there should be a fat smile on your face because you know exactly what to do. So let's jump into the first one then, the nucleophilic addition elimination mechanism for the reaction of an acyl chloride with water. So let's draw this out. So we're gonna be having the water molecule as our nucleophile. So O, H, H right here, okay? What is a nucleophile? A nucleophile is a lone pair donor, okay? So essentially, it's a substance that is mega attracted to some sort of positivity. Okay, this can either be a, an actual positive ion or it can simply be a region of relative positivity. Okay, so rubbing that out, let's actually write out our mechanism starting with our acyl chloride. And in every single example, I'm just going to be using the example of ethanol chloride, so two carbons in the chain. So CH3COCl, okay, ethanol chloride. So our nucleophile, as I said, is our water molecule. And we're going to have a lone pair on here, okay? Every time you have an oxygen, it's group six, it's going to have a lone pair and it wants to react to fulfill that octet. So if we look at our carbon double bond oxygen right here, there is a dipole region of electron density or relative negativity on the oxygen and then relative positivity on the carbon. Now I'm explaining the theory behind this, but in your exam, you don't need to include these dipole um, delta charges, okay? So what happens here, curly arrow, really important you do it from the lone pair. So don't do it from like over here or something, always do it from the lone pair. And this is gonna come onto the carbon right here, the relatively positive carbon. Okay, and then in that case, then we have got an extra bond here. So if you think about it, carbon's group four, right? You don't need to draw this, I'm just explaining it to you. So we've got a carbon here, we've got our methyl group here, and then we've got the, the water that just bonded on. Now, this carbon is not a happy guy because it now has five bonds, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five bonds. It's group four and that's too many bonds for it to handle. So what happens then? Now, if we zoom in on this double bond here, right? Each of these bonds is covalent. So it's gonna have a shared pair of electrons, right? Now, what's gonna happen here is one of these pair of electrons in the covalent bond is gonna kick off and go onto the oxygen, okay? And that's just what happens here. So let's rub that out and show that in the mechanism as you would in your exam going to go like this from the double bond onto the oxygen okay and that's going to form a single covalent bond so what happens next then is we're going to get our intermediate that we have to draw out so ch3 c i'm going to draw this bond actually i'm going to draw that in this time and just to keep things nice and correct i'm actually going to switch this up to a h3c just because the bond is on the carbon not the methyl, so let's actually rub this out as well, H3C. If I'm if I'm not showing the bond, I don't need to do that. I can just do CH3C. What happened to that three? Do not know what happened there. CH3C, but if I, have, if I am showing the formal bond, I have to show the correct orientation of it being bonded to the carbon. All right, so back to the mechanism. We're gonna be having our O here. Now this has got a lone pair on it now and a negative charge. The reason being is, as I mentioned previously, it's gained the pair of electrons that was in this double covalent bond onto itself. It's now just a single bond, so you have to denote that lone pair as well as the negative charge. 
and we've got the chlorine on here and we've got the water molecule that just bonded on as our nucleophile. So there's three curly arrows here that you need to be aware of as well as a formal charge. So the curly arrow is going to be this lone pair back onto this to reform the double bond, okay? And then this water molecule now has three bonds, okay? And it's going to be positive. The reason being is this lone pair right here formed a dative or coordinate bond, okay? A dative covalent bond. So it's donated both of its electrons. It's lost one, so it has one positive charge. Doesn't like that. So one of these hydrogens is gonna be like, you know what, I'll take the sacrifice. I'll go off in solution and donate my electron back to you, okay? Real nice guy over here. Chlorine, this chlorine here is a leaving group. So it's gonna get the hell out of the molecule. It's like, you know what, I'm off, I'm going. It's a leaving group, okay? And then that is what we have to denote here to get our marks. You're gonna get your curly arrows, two curly arrows here, your three curly arrows here, as well as your formal positive on this oxygen, okay? So what is our product going to be? It's gonna be a carboxylic acid. Okay, we're gonna have our O and then our OH. All right, easy as that. Now there is an observation you need to know here. It's gonna be HCl. It's not hydrochloric acid, it's actually hydrogen chloride gas. And this is white steamy fumes. Okay, um, the reason being is, remember I said this guy leaves, this guy leaves, they form hydrogen chloride gas. Pretty simple there. All right, so that's water done. Let us move on to alcohol. So just like before, we're gonna be having our ethanoyl chloride starting functional group, and we're going to be reacting it with ethanol, okay? Any alcohol will do, but in this case, we're gonna be doing it with ethanol. So very similar to water, you're gonna have your OH, and then you're gonna have the remainder of the carbon chain for the alcohol. So I'm gonna do ethanol, so it's gonna be CH2, CH3. Very similar to water, you're gonna have a lone pair on the oxygen, and you're gonna have uh, a dipole existing here. So let's draw that out real quick. Delta negative, delta positive. You don't need to show this in your exams again, but it's useful to understand it. So this curly arrow right here, just like with water, you, you can literally just copy and paste, but change the H for a CH2, CH3. And that is our first curly arrow. The second one is going to be from the double bond onto the oxygen. Real simple stuff. I'm not gonna go into any more sort of explanation there be pretty identical to the first one. And the intermediate is actually pretty much identical as well, just as I said, changing the H for, for whatever the carbon chain is. So let's draw that out. We're gonna be having our H3C, C, we're having our O with the lone pair and the negative charge. Really important to show both the lone pair and the negative charge, right? Then we're gonna have our O, H, CH2, CH3, so our ethanol bonded on. And we're gonna be having the CL group, okay? Now, identical, identical stuff here. Gonna have a positive charge on the oxygen, okay? Because of all that dative covalent stuff that happened. And then this is gonna reform the double bond. The chlorine or chloride ion is our leaving group, so that's gonna be kicked off. And then the hydrogen is gonna go onto here. Boom, okay? Real simple stuff. You can think of it exactly the same as the reaction with water except this is gonna be a carbon chain instead of a hydrogen, all right? So we're gonna get our products produced. What is our product gonna be? It's not gonna be a carboxylic acid this time, it's gonna be an ester, okay? So H3C, C, O, O, CH2, CH3. Okay, that is our ester right here. Ethyl ethanoate, okay, not too shabby. And again, what is our observation? It's gonna be HCl hydrogen chloride gas, white steamy fumes. Okay, just like with water. So we're flying through this. Let's look at ammonia. Okay, reaction with ammonia. So let's write this out. Ethanoyl chloride. We're reacting this with ammonia. Okay, so the ammonia is gonna be our nucleophile. Very similar to the water molecule. It's gonna have a lone pair on it, okay? Exact same principles involved in terms of like intermolecular forces and, and bonds and all that stuff. So this is gonna come onto here and this is gonna be kicked onto here. Okay, exactly the same as with water and 
alcohol. Okay, there is a delta negative, delta positive. I'm not going to bother drawing it out on this one. And we're going to get a very similar intermediate, okay? So this is our intermediate right here, very similar process. So this is going to go onto here, reforming our double bond. Chlorine's getting the hell out of there. It is our leaving group. And instead of an oxygen being positive, we now have a positive nitrogen. Okay. And one of these hydrogens is going to be like, you know what, mate, you can have my electron, take it. It's all good. Go back to being neutral. And we're going to get our product. So what is our product in this case is going to be an amide, more specifically a primary amide. Okay. So let's write that up here. Primary amide, right? So very similar, we're going to have our CH3, C, O, we're going to have NH2, okay? That is our primary amide. The reason that it's primary is because one of the hydrogens on here has been replaced by a carbon chain, okay? One replaced is going to be primary, two replaced secondary, etc. Okay, so that's our primary amide very similar format to the reaction with water and alcohol. Okay, just, just practice these. They're like little puzzles. You just got to keep writing them out. This arrow is dodged, so it's annoying me. Let's redraw that quickly. Good times. Now, as I'm looking through this, I actually realized to myself I missed something off. Okay, what did I miss? I missed the observations. So with this one, when we form our primary amide, we're going to get ammonium chloride forming, okay? NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. And very similar to the white steamy fumes of HCl, we're going to be getting white smoke. All right, so moving on, let's look at the reaction with a primary amine, and that'll be our final mechanism. All right, let's do this quick. CH3COCl, ethanol chloride going to react with our primary amine. So very, very similar to ammonia. Instead of it being NH3, okay, it's going to be NH. Then we're going to have another H here and then the rest of the molecule. Okay, so I'm going to use our good old two carbon chain as our example here and see what's going on. Now, alternatively, you can just write this out as NH2CH2CH3. That's completely fine as well. All good. I just wanted to show all the bonds on the nitrogen. So as previously, lone pair on here is going to attack our relatively positive carbon. And this double bond is going to be put back onto our oxygen, more specifically the electrons in the double bond, right? Then just like before, we're going to get our intermediate formed with some sort of positivity and negativity. So we're going to have our O lone pair negative have our chlorine here, and then we're going to have the amine forming on here. So just like before, the reason I showed my hydrogens is so I can show them again in the intermediate. We're going to have our CH2, CH3. Okay, so what's going on here is this guy wants to reform the double bond. This guy is getting the hell out of there. And this guy is positive. So you know what the hydrogen's like, you know what, take my electron. All right, literally exactly the same as with ammonia. Okay, nothing different here, nothing too scary. And our product then is not going to be a primary amide. It's going to be a secondary amide. Okay, so let's draw that out. We're going to have our H3C, C, O, N. Now this, this right here, this N, you have to pay attention to. So we've got a H here. Then we're going to have the rest of our carbon chain. So our CH2, CH3. Okay, now the reason that it's secondary is because, like I said, two of the hydrogens have been replaced with these, these carbon chains. Okay, and the reason that it's an amide, I probably missed this out in the last one, actually. The reason that it's an amide is because of this. Okay, this is our amide linkage, the CO and the N. Okay, this is our amide linkage right here, signifying an amide. What is our observation for a reaction with a primary amine? Big fat cross. Okay, there's no observation here. All right, so summary and spec check. Make sure I covered everything you need to know for AQA A-level chem.
for the nucleophilic addition elimination mechanism with water we did that alcohol we did that ammonia we did that and primary amines we did that practice some questions okay that's really key they're like little puzzles that you just keep having to practice and in no time you'll be super confident okay if you learned something and you found the video helpful be sure to like the video subscribe for future content best of luck in your exams and revision guys until next time peace